Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Banto. And so we're back here in the Keller with my old town here. So what we're gonna do today is to pretty much continue with our bridge that's going over here. I think we are pretty much almost done with this. There are maybe a few more things that we will be adding. But today I want to try to focus on how this will attach itself to like our castle, our keep it thing that we're gonna have on this side because I want to have walls surrounding this entire thing. So I want to make this maybe look a little bit slightly different here. So I'm thinking about if it should, we should remove this and then make it uh, follow along with like a new wall. But I think if we're gonna do that wall, we're gonna do just a little part of it because we really don't want to make so this, this, and all the things around here would be like the same building because it would be very troublesome for like the building onion to handle all of that and it would take forever and there's a big risk that we're gonna mess something up so i've even been thinking about if we should split these up so maybe this is one building this is one building and i think we should be able to do that if we go down and pretty much just remove a little bit here don't think we're gonna really ruin anything we're just gonna make sure that uh, it doesn't touch this thing so if we do something like that, this should be like separate buildings. Seems like they're still the same, not sure why that is. So we might actually have to do them as the same one, so... I'm just gonna refill what we like removed and... Uh, I guess we could have to make them as the same. Okay, since that do not work, we would have to have this and this is the same building. The thing is that I want to add these things to make sure that it's gonna be able to like fit in here with everything. So I think we should make something here. Let's see what we can do with this. We have a 7 in width in this, so we're gonna try to do maybe something similar to that. Let's see what we can do. Maybe go for this one. I think we can do it in the slab, by the way. We're not gonna walk inside this and stuff. It'd be nice to be able to walk inside it, but uh, we're not gonna be doing it now. To be honest, though. I'm thinking something like this, pretty much. We're gonna change, you know, a few things. And probably not gonna have like this, but we have the width for it. And we would have to go... I wonder if we should do like normal walls here or not, or if we should do the entire thing with slab. I kinda like to work a lot with slab, on the slab, because it gives so much like customizability, which is so nice. We could make so we can walk inside this, of course, with slab as well. The question is, do we really want to do that? Think about making it pretty much like this. That way, and we like continue the same way at this other side, and this is pretty much where we'll be entering. So we might be skipping like the normal bridge that we were supposed to have here before. But this will be the main thing. Maybe we should even make something, like another way to get up here, so you don't have to go here. Maybe we should make like a curvy one, the curves up here, or comes here in some other way, goes up here, instead of having to go here, I don't know. I'm gonna leave that like for you guys to decide a little bit, because we're not gonna like start to build this today, most likely, because there's still loads of things we need to do, and to think about, and mistakes to be done, you know? So we're gonna expand this a little bit, we got the wrong color here. I think I'm gonna do a live stream soon again. It was really long since I did that. So if you're interested to like come hang out in the live stream, feel free to do so. The link is always in the description so you guys can find out. I do not stream very often, I can tell you, but uh, I'm gonna try to do it soon again because it's really, really fun when you guys can speak with me directly. I think you guys have been there before have enjoyed it also. So it's gonna it's gonna be or something awesome if you guys come in. So maybe we should try to have it soon. I have a lot of like things that I need to do. Actually gonna fix some things for school soon, very soon like with uh, web designing. A lot of like coding and stuff, so... That's gonna take up a little bit of the time that I have had before, but uh, I'm still gonna try to, you know, get up our episodes. Okay, so something like this, it should be pretty much the same. Just gonna get these up. Oh, we just noticed that I'm doing this the wrong way. They're, they're supposed to be higher. What the band are doing? This is supposed to go up like, like this, like an, pretty much like a T. Like that, and actually we're gonna change maybe... Actually, this one should be like they are. 
they shouldn't even be on the inside to be honest if we're gonna keep the same thing that we had before because we all have this thing for the outside might look cool to have it on the inside also but uh, i went for not going for that way the really cool thing that i think about when you're making walls with slab is that you have the ability like we did here to go in and you know carve something out just go like this like maybe make a cross or whatever whatever you want to do you know you make whatever you want i think this looks pretty cool to be honest I don't know if we're gonna have it there. I, I'm gonna do maybe the same thing at the other side and we're gonna see if we're gonna have it. I don't know. I'm gonna try actually to do maybe not the same thing for this side. The reason for that is that we are having these different walls on this side. This is how we wanna have these things. But something that we're gonna have to put here later on also is to add a little bit of like lights and stuff. Make it more, more beautiful. It's gonna be so amazing. And another interesting thing that we're talking about recently in uh, the latest Desktop Tuesday, the game devs of this game, is that they're working with improving the performance with the game, which is going to be so awesome because this game definitely need like performance improvements when you get far in this game. I can 29 people. This can create a lot of issues. It's not like always the same amount of issues. They're like it varies a little bit, I would say. But uh, they're in general very like many like drops and stuff. You see that these sides actually look slightly different. I have to remove here. Let's see how this looks. Actually, if we're gonna keep the same way, which should be like this. But I think that maybe, hmm. Maybe we should keep this thing for this side. So just this side do not have this out sticking thing. Let's do that. Let's do the same thing because I think it starts to look a little bit weird when doing this way. So let's reshape and redo. Pretty much something like that. Let's try it out how this will be. It should be like this, pretty much. You know, that was, um, I would say, a pretty quick fix. And since we're doing pretty much the same way here, I think we should keep this thing with this. This is like the thing that I think like take the most time to do. Like, I would love, you know, to have this tool where you can just click and drag it up. Yes, you know, just like can drag like this, I would like to be able to drag up and down because it would save so much time. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna see like some kind of tool for that in the future. It's, you know, it's bound to happen sooner or later. I think this looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what we should have here, guys, if it should be like a big building that you enter and then maybe you, you go down for some kind of passage or something that would, could be pretty cool, I think. Or if you should maybe have like two towers here, I think that could make sense to have two towers here. Maybe one tower to each side here. We could have made like another tower like this and this other side, but uh, I don't think we can do that. I think before we do like too much of this side, we're also gonna go and harvest these trees. Because I know that they're gonna be in the way, when we're gonna do things later, they will be in the way. It's, you know, it's bound that they're gonna be in the way for us. Because we got some goblins, so I think we want to deal with them pretty soon. But I kind of like how, how this is turning out with our bridge. I think it's looking really awesome. It's looking better than I was expecting from the beginning when I started with it. It's like, you know, it's my first try ever to do something like that, to be honest. Like, something big like that for a bridge. First time. I'm gonna take care of this dude as well. See that we have some wolves, so maybe we should go and send maybe the other part of that wolves. The kobold and those ogres, they generally like to take this path, it seems. Do have a pretty big group here, to be honest. A lot of orcs, goblins, healers, everything it seems like. I think there's a healer at least. Or maybe I'm wrong. An enemy, okay, the wolves. I think we can send maybe both parties over here, so... Let's maybe go and put on like... Let's move them there, actually, because if they're hungry or anything... They will not go there if you put the guard command. It's really good that it works that way, because it means like nowadays if you put them to guard something, they will go eat, they will go sleep, they will not just, you know, wait and die like it was long ago. This is also done, I think it was pretty long ago, I really like the stairs, we're gonna do more things here, but you know, <laughs> there's so many things we wanna do. And this farmhouse, it pretty much almost looks like it's done. We're missing comfy beds and we're missing fur rugs, so maybe we should make sure that we are getting those. Let's see what people are doing. The most are idle, I guess they're waiting for stuff. 
Maybe we should check with our tailor what the, the tailor is doing. We craft some comfy beds. Oh yeah, it's by the carpenter, by the way. Okay, so let's make it, let's make four comfy beds. Why not? We need to, those fur rugs as well, so we gotta go back to the tailor. We need to make this. Do we have enough pelts? Yes, we do. That's a lot of pelts. I'm gonna make six of those. And also, we're gonna change a thing here. Maybe let's see here. We're gonna change the order of these things, like I said long ago. Like I read in the Discord forum for Stonehearth. It's almost better if you're gonna maintain things to have like the thread below, like the cloth, for example. Because then they will make new cloth. They will not keep like making thread over and over, you know, until you can make one cloth and then make thread again. Now they will make. You no, know, we can do this to make thread, and once they can do cloth, they do it. So I think this is a pretty good way. Works out pretty good. I usually have it like the opposite way, but this really works really good. We can even have it below these things, but these are like the three main things that I really care about for this. So, do you want to buy anything? The merchant have one thousand three hundred gold. That's quite a bit. Maybe some raw mutton. Be nice. Maybe we should sell some stuff. We should have plenty of some stuff, like farmer hose. We have way too many. Notices also in the game, like pretty much like almost every craft, they have their fine version now. So we have these fine park benches. We can put them out. Uh, let's go inside here and can show you guys. Pretty much all the fine thing they add like gold or yellow to it. So this looks quite different, you know. You get the normal one, like that, and the fine one. I think this one looks really, really nice. Really like the blue and the yellow together. Looks really, really nice. There's so many new ones. I don't know if there's like a fine, fine the vault. That sounds really weird. But you know, we have like this fine bench. It's pretty nice. Kind of hard to see it. Maybe we can put one here actually. We can sit and relax a bit. Also, be thinking about if you guys would like to see more with Stardew Valley. I did a series with that long ago, but. I stopped for some reason and I'm thinking about maybe we should do it again. I really like that game, it's a really, really great game. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys if you're interested to see more of uh, Stardew Valley. If you are, I will be making it. These pillars look really weird. Are they like are they blue colored or something? Because they don't look... Yeah, they're blue for some reason. Did I put, put, put the wrong one? What? Before I was like, hmm, you know, maybe it's just like the fog of war that's doing this thing, but <laughs> I guess I got a blue one for some reason, even though I know this looks totally different. Oh, misplaced. This is gonna be nice. This is something that I would say that I have been looking forward to so much, like to reach this island and start to work in here. Like, the next time that I make a town, I think I will actually maybe start out and focus on there first and then expand out. Because, you know, we have been building this, it looks really nice and everything, but it has been taking forever to go here, so maybe in the next new town we might make it in a different order. I'm gonna put some ladders uh, to make sure that my people can like swim over here and like harvest these things, because they, they like have no way to access this for the moment. Let's check this out again, what's happening? So it says we still need fur rugs, it still says we need comfy beds. Hopefully they did not, you know, go and make only like fine comfy beds. Oh, this is, looks weird. Missing thumbnails. Let's make sure we like move this up so we can get this done. After that farmer's hoe is done, they really should go and make that fine comfy bed. We do have the resources, so that should be nice. To go check with uh, the weaver. Okay, so now they're making the fur rugs. Let's check out with the carpenter. And the carpenter is making the comfy bed, so... I think, like, once we get them, they will start, like, tear down the scaffolding, maybe? I don't know, they haven't, like, put out that door, and not this door. Not the benches. There's, like, a lot of things they haven't put out. Maybe they're waiting for these things, and after they got it, they will go and, like, put everything out. I hope it's something like that. If not, we will just uh, use the instant build command just to finish, you know, the last remaining parts. It's pretty much only furniture that is going to be added indoors. Everything else is done with it. 
And I still haven't decided what we should do with this windmill. There's a very buggy, super buggy glitch with this. You have these two blocks, it, they look different. Not sure how that happened. Pretty much if you, the one moment you touch this one, this one seems a bit more safe, but this one, it breaks pretty much the entire game. So I think I will maybe remake this like entirely in the future. Well, I will use a template and uh, try to make something with it. But last time when I tried a template as well, this didn't work, it just corrupted everything. So I might be like remaking this entirely and make it pretty much the same way it is without you guys having to watch it, that is. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me build the same windmill again. Of course we'd go for like a different design if you want to. I really want to get the min windmill going because that would be so nice. Actually, to be honest, I'm thinking about if we should make a wooden bridge. Since this destroy command is in the game, we can make this. Hopefully it will be super simple, maybe it's not, I don't know. But the thing is that we can destroy it so easily, that's the good thing about it. They haven't swimmed over to put this ladder, so I'm, I'm a bit like... confused about this thing. I don't know, maybe we have to add ladders down here and we have to add one here. Even though it makes no sense, maybe we have to do it. And I definitely think that we should make like an um, arbor either down here or maybe here, maybe here. Maybe here we could be a good spot. Maybe we should move the trapping grounds. I'm gonna move it. So maybe the trapping, where could we have it for now? Maybe like out here. This is more like outside everything pretty much. So that should be a nice trapping ground. I think that should be enough for a trapper to have one of those. Be nice. Let's see what's going on here. Still missing one comfy bed it seems. Oh yeah, I forgot to deal with uh, the enemies. Hey, look at this. Look at that pathway. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you know what would happen if they take that away? They go into these dudes. And they will be so happy about killing my people. So, I'm gonna go and kill them. Come on, my people. Hopefully my soldiers are not too far away. I don't know why they want to go and make it that way when they're gonna swim. I don't know. This makes very little sense to me, like why 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 do they do that? I don't get it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rally my people first because I don't want them to obviously, you know, to run into right into the enemies. It's a little bit troublesome thing with combat by the way. For example, when you go to combat, the footmen they have their like charge rushing ability. The thing is that it splits up the entire troop, make them run in solo, and you know, that's not good. So, I hope that's gonna be something that, wow, that is changed in the future, because you see here is really risky. I might lose Siggy because I was like, ah, let's go anyway. Yeah, I lost Siggy, so... Yeah, mistake for me, Banto, and also a an, uh, weird thing with the game. They really need to fix this, if you ask me. So do we have everyone here? They did hit me down quite fast and it's impossible to see under these things. I really hope they're gonna change these things because it is really horrible made the way it is now. Is this a healer? I'm not sure if they have a healer even. I think we should at least try to focus on just one person first. Impossible to see what's going on here. We have to like go like down like this. Come on, my people! There's so many orcs! Here's a healer, okay, good we found him. Should really get away the healers. There should be one more. They normally come in like two, so there's one behind there also. I think we're safe. I don't know if we're safe. I can't see the health of anything. I really hope they're gonna change this. What? Where did they go? Oh, is this a new group of enemies? This guy is just observing everything, yay yay. Okay, so we're soon done with this at least. So, Banto lost Siggy, rest in peace Siggy. He did serve us very very nicely. He did a great job for us. Too bad Banto had to kill you, man. Daily update! And we beat it because we lost Siggy, awesome. So we got Alex to join us. Hopefully he will be able to live up to Siggy's. Stuff that she done for us. I think that was girl, pretty sure it was. Sounds like Siggy from uh, Vikings. 
Okay, let's see. We should name this dude and let's go over and take one of your requests. This is gonna be Prince Steve. And by the way, if you're new to the channel and everything or something, and you wonder why names are not getting into the game, it's because I have a huge, huge list. That's why it takes forever to get names in the game. You know, female names, it goes really, really quick. Male names, there are so many, so it takes forever. And I'm probably gonna change the way that it works in the future, so it's gonna be more of a lottery type. For the moment, it's pretty much uh, first right, first to get in. But maybe it's more fun if it's like a lottery thing, because everyone has like a chance to get into it. I was gonna figure out what way we're gonna do it in. So it seems that we have come over at least. Maybe they found a better way to get over, like, oh no, the enemy's not there. Okay then, I can swim over. Before it was like, I have to go suicide, I have to annoy Banto a bit. I have to be a bit annoying. Okay, so, I think this is pretty good. Maybe, I, I kind of feel like I kind of want to build this thing, and then build more things. Because we can still connect things to this. It's just how this thing would be, if it's gonna be like, like, brighter. I kind of would like to make some kind of thing some big tower or thing that you enter through here. Maybe it would just be, you know, it could just be like this. Maybe we should just have it like this way to be honest. Maybe something like that and then we can like maybe carve out. I have it kinda that way. One more. I think it looked better when we had like that. We definitely need to make something here also. I think that is pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. I think we'll have one tower here, one here, or two there. I don't know for the moment to be honest. Yo Boxen, hello dude. Throw a basket. Basket woven from straw. Hmm, can we actually like use it? I wanna buy two of those and see if we can actually store things in them. Also wanna sell some pelts, but uh, because we know we have uh, way too many pelts. Taking up so much storage. Let's sell all these, maybe. A lot of fiber. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I want to see this thing that I bought. You know, it is under storage. How big are these? They're pretty small. I'm gonna put one out because I've never seen them in games. I would like to see how they... What what they are and how they look. And here we got our potions. We have to really use them much. I think I actually can activate one. So this energy one, it actually speeds up the people by about 10% for a short while. They will be a little bit faster. You know... It's pretty good for everything, working faster, moving faster for combat and everything. So we still miss one coffee bed, I don't really know why. We should be we should be done with that. Let's check out how many coffee beds we have. We have 16 coffee beds, okay. Something is messed up guys. So I'm gonna instant build this last part, you can see that we're only missing one comfort bed, so you know, we're not really cheating this thing. So that's why we're doing this, and how this works is that if you want to access this thing, you press CTRL. CTRL and then plus C on a keyboard, like that, in the top corner. And uh, then you have to select the building that you want to instant build. You go to the console, and you type IB for instant build. And it's doing a magic, miracles, and it's done. So now you should start to remove the scaffolding for this. We can finally be done with this house. It should be doing pretty soon. They're busy with other things for the moment, but... Uh, you should start to remove the scaffolding soon, I hope. But guys, I think this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. So I think we're gonna start to build this thing in the next episode. I'm just gonna figure out a few things, and if you have something to come with before we do the entire thing, let me know. I will be maybe adding this thing under here as well, like a block of things to protect this from corrosion and with big warships to try it come in but I think I will only do it like down here if I can do it I'm not gonna do it up here like just down here in the middle would be it like a big thick block or something but guys thanks for checking out this episode hope you had a great great time and 
Make sure to like this video if you like it, it helps me out really, really much. And if you want to watch more videos, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So, thanks for watching, I hope you had a great time, and take care.